Let's talk about sticker storage. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm reorganizing my new reusable sticker album to help me streamline and simplify my planning routine. Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm on a journey to uncomplicate my life with functional planning and imperfect home management. If you're like me and you need a gentle reminder to just keep it simple, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. First, I wanted to acknowledge, if you've been around my channel for a while, you will know that this is one of my favorite planning tools. This is my Orange Umbrella Co reusable sticker book. And um, I still love this thing. The thing is, I just recently purchased this new one from Planner Kate and it's so much bigger. So you can see the difference there. And um, one of the problems I was running into with this, it wasn't really a problem, it was more just the way I had previously organized it. Um, I was running out of space. You can see here I've already taken all of my stickers out, but some of these pages were full of stickers. The way that I organize my stickers in here are for the Erin Condren monthly color scheme, and so I would have like a two-page spread of all the August color and all of the September color and such. And um, I didn't have enough space for all of my stickers, and so um, I knew I needed to reorganize it, and then Planner Kate came out with this larger one, and that's when I was like, okay, I think I'm going to take the plunge and get a new book. I'm still going to use this because it's a great book. I know I will find a use for this. This is the new one, and I am in the process of moving all of these stickers to this book. And this is not even close to being done, but I just wanted to go over how I'm doing it real quick because I did get some questions about this. I put up a like video request box on my Instagram, and um, that way you can request a video that way and then it will stay like where I can easily find it so I can make sure to make the video. Um, so if you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me there. I'm at Kristen Kramer. I'll put my handle on the screen and there's always a link in the description. I started this book knowing that I wanted to organize my stickers by the Erin Condren color scheme. So I have set aside two full spreads, so four total pages for that color. And I am just going through all of my functional stickers and moving them over to these four pages. So it still isn't like super organized. Um, I'm really just kind of getting the stuff on the page. You can see that I try to keep like with like, like I kind of have all the school stuff together right here. I have some like bill type stuff here. And that's just because that's how I plan. I will do kind of like all of the school related things and such. So in my planning, for my planning style, I like to use stickers mainly on my monthly spread. And this year I am following the Erin Condren color scheme to inspire which colors I'm using. So I'm not covering up my whole monthly spread with like a kit with like headers and date covers and stuff like that. I'm really just going with the beautiful pattern that Erin Condren has printed on the paper and I'm adding stickers that match that. And that has really simplified my routine. First of all, I've already redated the whole planner to be a Monday start. So I don't need to get a kit for that. And then I also don't need to spend time lining up my like headers and I don't need to look for specific kits to match that month and wait for kits to come out for that month. I just know these are the colors I'm going to use and these are always available all year round and I usually can use up my leftover stickers that way which is a huge huge plus for me that has been a goal of mine for over a year now to just work through the stickers that I have in my stash instead of like constantly buying new stickers I have gotten to the point where I'm replenishing some things so um, this is just a good time to reorganize the book so um, I will just kind of flip through and show you like this is the pink color for February, this is the sea foam, and so on and so forth. 
You can see certain months I still have a ton of stickers left and these are all for May. May has been planned, it's done and over with and these are all gonna be ready for next year. So hopefully my planner for next year will still follow the same color scheme. If not, we're kind of in trouble. So um, let's, let's just cross our fingers that that's how it works. If not, I mean, I can make it work that way, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, so I've left enough space for all of the stickers and room to grow. I did make a mistake with April and there isn't room to grow for April, but um, I think that'll be fine. I think we'll be okay for that one. And so then we get to the end with December and then I kind of have a new section here and this is gonna be for all of the Erin Condren like pastel colors such as like the new, the In Bloom and Wildflowers and Flora and any kind of stickers I have for that. So I've kind of marked out just using these um, removable post-it tabs, just the space that I kind of want to save for that. And then back here is where I have the scripts that I use the most often. And the way I'm organizing that is by subject. So these are all going to be to do stickers and anything that has to do with like doing tasks and such. And then these are just, don't forget, important. And then the little to call, to go. I don't buy these. These always come on like your sampler sheets or your freebies and such. And I use these very sporadically, but since I do use them every now and then, I did go ahead and save some here. And um, this is going to be for anything that is like time-based, this week, next week, this month, today, that kind of thing. And then this is all going to be for school-related stickers. And then I just have more sheets back here to add. Um, plenty of sheets. I know I'm gonna save some towards the back for leftover washi strips and maybe some deco, that kind of stuff, but I don't use the deco that much. I just wanna keep, if I've used up some in a spread and I wanna keep some of it, like if I have enough washi or deco pieces to match that I can make another week out of or decorate a notes page, then I wanna keep that there. But I think my strategy going forward is not to just keep everything. Like, keep what I know I'm really gonna use and then give away everything else. Um, that's kind of where my head's at right now. Um, the other thing I think I didn't mention was that these are all icons that match the monthly color and any icons that are neutral, for example, these balloons, they're white and gray, those are gonna go back with the scripts because my priority is to use up the colorful ones and then I can move on to using the neutral ones because those will match any spread. And so, you know, when I get to a sheet that has like, say this one, I don't have anything there yet, but this might be for celebrations and specific events that I put any stickers related to that there. I'm gonna put the icon that goes with that um, topic with the script because chances are I'm going to be using them at the same time or looking for something to do with that at the same time. So maybe I don't have a script that says happy birthday, but I know if I go to my events sheet in my sticker book, I can find something that will work. So that's my strategy there. Um, then also the way I will be doing this is I do have some newer stickers that I just purchased. These were mostly going to be for memory planning. These are just scripts from Planner Kate. Um, for the things that I typically will do, but these ones I want to start using on my dashboard pages um, in my monthly, where um, I have like my monthly task list, so I'm gonna use these that say do all the things, and then this is mom life. So this is for anything that is school related or related for my son. I got the mom life ones because during the summer, it's that's that section where I write that stuff, that's not gonna be school related, it's gonna be like, tennis camp or sleepovers or events that he's doing during the summer. And so I didn't want it to say school. So I thought mom life was good because that will work all year round. Um, and then also these are gonna work in my memory planner as well. So that way I'm not buying a sheet of stickers that's only gonna work in one spot. I'm kind of utilizing it 
across all of my planning. Um, and then this here for goal check-in. So that's the same, that's gonna be for the section in on my dashboard where I write my goals. So goals, stuff related to my kid and his school, and then tasks. And then I just got these as well because out to eat for the memory planner, and then family time for the memory planner. Organize my life and cleaning, that's you know self-explanatory. I can use that in both as well. Like if I'm really focused on cleaning or organizing one month, that would go on my dashboard as well. So um, I'm going to actually take these off of this sheet and put them in my album here. I, I keep saying album. I think it's just a book. It's not an album because I'm not like sliding things in, I guess, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting, I did start here by putting icons and such here, but I may even end up moving these to this page. I'm going to put all my Planner Kate BW icons. That's these here. Um, I'm going to put those here and um, I have a whole order coming today with more of these that I stocked up on. So that's kind of, um, I'm gonna just put all of the colors for that month, like there's a whole, I'm trying to find one here. So like this whole top row is the January color, then it's the February, March, April, May, and so on and so forth until you get to the neutral ones. And so I'm gonna take all of the colorful ones and put them here within reason. Like I don't usually put these on my monthly as far as like things that I do repeatedly during the week. Um, so I don't think I need like, you know, 20 of these on this page, but I might put a few of each color and then I store the rest away in a smaller album that I just keep out of the way until I need to refill this. And then that way I only have to get one book out. I don't need to like have all of my stickers available at all times. I can just have the one and that's really all I'm going to need. So um, that's kind of my strategy and I wanted to show that to you even though I'm nowhere close to being done with this. It's just, it's this kind of like an ongoing process and um, it's gonna take a while. I'm okay with that. Um, I don't mind things that take a while. It's something that I can do like if I'm trying to watch a show or listen to like a podcast or an audiobook or something. It's, it's something that I can do while that's happening. But basically it's making my life easier because everything is in one spot. I don't have to clean anything up. Once all the stickers are in here, I can just bring the one book, get my planner, open it up, plan all the things, and then I'll just have to close the book. Like I don't have to slide stickers back in the sleeves of like top loading albums. That bothers me so much, like so much. So, um, and I never do it. I end up throwing them all in a pile, a doom pile, and then they sit somewhere. And then I lose them because I didn't ever put anything away and then I'm looking for those stickers and I can't find them again. And so, you know, this is my solution for that so that it's um, no longer happening in that way. And I think this is gonna work out and I am happy to do it. And um, I don't mind that it's gonna take forever to move some of these. It kind of scratches that itch to play with stickers too um, because I love playing with stickers and I love putting them in my planner. I don't like using my planner when there's a ton of stickers because it looks chaotic. But this in a way, um, moving the stickers from this sheet to the book and organizing it, that is kind of like scratching that itch and, and kind of giving me that satisfaction of playing with pretty stickers. And I don't know, that might not make sense to some people, but uh, it definitely makes sense for me. So I'm putting all of this color that matches the January color. I'm just putting them all here on this sheet that I have laid out for January. Now, what is gonna happen if I end up needing this color and it's not January? Maybe I am using my memory planner and I know this color matches and then I don't have the sheet anymore that has all the colors on it. 
Well, I've been using Erin Condren long enough, I know what color goes where. So for me, that works. When I think of January, I think of this color. So if I'm using a set of stickers in my memory planner, for example, where the colors aren't necessarily gonna match the monthly color, well, then I know where to find that in my book. But Planner Kate does have this color thing here that has all the colors that it's like a color key. All of the colors that are available on Planner Kate stickers are like on this sheet. Um, and so here you can see that we have like the Erin Condren colors and it actually says on here that it's like the January color. So if I am looking for a color to match my memory spread, I can just look on here and say, oh, the yellow, that's August. And then I can flip to my August page. Um, in my book here. And so that's kind of how I plan to do it. I think this is gonna go on this last back page here. And I think all I have to do is just trim off some of this white edge just to make it fit. And then it's just like a full page sticker. And I'm just gonna stick it here, I think. I do have plans to put like a pocket, one of the Erin Condren adhesive pockets. Here, here's one. So this is from Erin Condren. I think it comes in a pack of two and it's just a self-adhesive like clear pocket. And I believe I'm gonna just trim this down and stick it here. And then that way, any sheets that I have that I either haven't transferred yet or just don't want to for some reason, they can go there in the back like that. So I think, that is basically what I'm doing. I know I'm not done yet, so maybe this video isn't gonna be super satisfying to anyone, um, but this is just gonna take me a while. And I wanted to get something up so that you could see what I'm doing. The other issue I have run into is, I don't have a way to divide these pages yet. I thought I would be able to use these repositionable post-it tabs and then put labels on them. However, they come right off because this is release paper and these are removable. So it just comes right off. So these are just temporary while I am kind of working with this and filling it with things. My other thought was to use the new Planner Kate um, tab covers. They're meant to cover the tabs in your planner. So they're in whatever colors you choose that Planner Kit has available, but then they'll say like January, February, March, and so on and so forth. But they are gonna be the size of the Erin Condren planner tabs. So that may or may not work. I don't know yet. I didn't purchase them because I thought this was gonna work and then they didn't make it into my order before I realized this isn't gonna work. So that's just something to look out for in the future, how I end up reorganizing this. I had thought at first that I could just use these tabs that I had purchased elsewhere, um, these dividers. However, they're not wide enough. So it's not gonna stick out the side. And so that's not gonna work. Maybe somebody will eventually make some tabs that fits this book, but I don't know, we'll wait and maybe I can come up with some other solution. And if I do, you know I'm gonna share it with you. So um, anyhow, to recap, this is how I am organizing my stickers. I am using the Erin Condren monthly color scheme because that is how I use my planner. If you don't follow that monthly color scheme, maybe you do like, Plum Modern or Moxie Life, or maybe you don't do anything of the sort, you could just do rainbow colors. Or if you don't think of color first when you are planning, if you're thinking of events first and then just put all of your school stickers on one page, put all of your health stickers on one page. That's how I do my neutral ones. So let's look at my book here where I have some stickers that I haven't moved over yet. So these are all health related. This is like appointments, doctor, dentist, um, any kind of like haircuts and stuff like that. Those are here and then like health and fitness type stickers are here. I have all of that on one page so that when I'm looking for anything related to fitness, I know where to find it. That is how I will be working on this back section here. I will be putting all of these plain neutral colored stickers 
on pages back here, just like that. But you could just forego all of the color scheme stuff and do it that way if it makes more sense to you. The con of doing it that way might mean that you have really like full pages full of all of your health stuff. If you have, um, for example, these sticker sheets from Planner Kate that are um, like these here, this is like orthodontist. And then if you put all of your pink ones in one or all of the blue ones on one page, that's gonna take up a lot of space on your page. So you just kind of have to figure out, there's a lot of pages in here. There are, I think there are a hundred pages. So you could get away with that depending on how many stickers you have. But for the way I plan, this is kind of working out. I have been doing this I don't know, maybe like six months now and I love it. Well, I've definitely been doing it since January and we are going into June. So yes, at least six months, maybe a couple of months before the new year started, but um, it's been working, it's been great. It has really helped me streamline and simplify my planning routine and that's why I'm still doing it. The other stickers that I have here are just all of the leftover stickers. So um, these were just freebie samplers that I'm kind of going through. And then these are, um, these were also freebies like from Stick With Nick. And then these were just the neutral ones that were left over off of like one of these like event sheets. The same with this freebie. So these are just, this is when I have a sheet like this that I have used up all the stickers on, they just are gonna get interspersed throughout the rest of my book. Like that's where these came from where it says pizza night or family time. This matches this color, so I took all of them off of here and put them in here. So now I don't have to go through and remember, okay, which kit has colors that match that. They're just already there in the May color. So that is how I'm doing that. And I'm sorry that I'm not done yet and I don't have like a satisfying um, book to show you that's full of stickers, but um, you'll see it as I'm doing my plan with me's each week. and. Um, Eventually I'll be done and when I am, I will definitely show you. So that is gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I post functional planning videos three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. As a reminder, I am a Planner Kate affiliate, so if you make a purchase from one of the links in my description for any of the stuff that you see here, um, I will get a commission off of that. And so I really wanna thank you for helping me support my family in that way. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.